Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. If you wanted an example of the grass, it's not always greener on the other side. Well, here's an example. All right. I saw this uh, video that was linked to Willie D's channel. And I got to tell you, what I saw in the video was utterly disgusting. And I want to talk about the two individuals that both participated in this video now, I'm going to talk about the, you know, the suspected white supremacist and then his bed wench girlfriend who don't have no respect or dignity about herself. But you always hearing these bullshit videos by these black man hating feminists always talking about, oh, well, a black man is incapable of respecting a black woman. You know, at the end of the day, it's all baloney at the end of the day you know it really is but you got to understand th this is a a movement that's going on you know but nevertheless in this video you have i guess they like to play these pranks on each other so i guess this this bed wench because she don't deserve to be called a woman because she has no respect for herself and basically she shouldn't be called a woman because, like I said, she doesn't respect herself. Um, basically, what's going on in the video, you have a suspected white supremacist. You have a snow creature that basically, I guess, is dating this black woman. And I keep telling you, a lot of these dudes get a kick out of dating black women because... Black women have this reputation among other nationalities as being easy to sleep with. And that isn't caused by, you know, us. This is just something that they put out. Not us. Them. That's why you have a lot of these thrill-seeking white boys. You know, the Chet Hanks and the Bill Murrs of the world that had this little thing for black women. And, you know, the Quentin Tarantino's of the world. You know, they have these secret black woman fetishes. But nevertheless, this, you know, uh, you, you know, this snow creature basically hands this, you know, uh, bed wench because she don't deserve to be called a woman because she acted like a complete bed wench. Basically, he gives her something to drink. She sips it. He says that's my urine. She spits it out and she just giggling like that was just hilarious. No respect for herself. She should have went off on that dude. She would have been well within her right to even like possibly, you know, lay her grooming hand down. You know, I don't want to say the exact word because, you know, you, you know how YouTube is about you saying certain stuff. So. She would have been well within her right to lay her grooming hand down, but she just yucking it up and laughing like this is just hilarious. But keep in mind, let that have been a black dude that it did that, especially to a white woman. They would be talking about the police and he should be in jail and all this kind of stuff. But yet you don't see the outrage. You don't see people making videos about this and this video needs to go viral because this punk because that's what he is need to be called out and this bed wench need to be called out because like I said she has no respect for herself but then yet you always seeing these videos about you know black women should you know date anybody but a brother because they gonna get treated with respect and dignity like I said obviously he don't respect her I, I understand pranking is cool to a certain degree as long as you don't take it too far, as long as he don't get violent, as long as he don't get uh, to the point to where it's degrading. He degraded her. Okay. You know. But that seemed to be the thing now where you got, you know, white people trying to trick or make black people drink urine and you got this obsession with black people uh pretending to be slaves via white people 
pretend to be a slave, brother. It says if you were a slave, what would you? You know, it just goes to show you that they they have a warp and sick sense of thinking. But yeah, man, um, if you want to check out this video, go to Willie D's uh channel. You can see the video. It's an Instagram video. And like I said, I got to tell you, um, wow, has somebody did that to my sister or my daughter and I've seen that video, I'd be coming to see that dude. When I say I'd be coming to see that dude, I'd be coming to see that dude. But thanks for tapping in. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.